Okay, we got some good news from Wonderlust Estate. James, you know, he's had a lot of uh, issues in the last couple of weeks, and uh, he has uh, gone back out to Washington State, uh, and he has a friend who said he's going to help him finance buying a an RV, an RV for Wonderlust Estate, not just a van, but an RV. So uh, James has been living in vans. For quite a while, his latest van conked out a couple weeks ago. What was it? Back in somewhere in December, there when he was in Northern Kentucky. So he's in Washington State now. A look, and then he when he got then he got a you know he got a beater car. Let's just say it that it's a you know an older uh, used car. But now he's look at him. Look how happy he is. He now is uh, soon to be the proud at least. Uh, owner of a uh, new uh, RV, which I guess he's going to show us. He was showing us underneath and checking it out. It's used, obviously. Uh, but uh, so uh, James is, uh, is uh, yeah, so he was, he was really down in the dumps not that long ago. Kentucky, the, his old van conked out. He goes into a whole, there's a whole end piece on this video here where he talks about all the issues with the, uh, with the old van, transmission going out and all that other stuff. Uh, et cetera, et cetera, running into certain things that had a lot, some damage on the outside. It was a piece of junk, you know, it looked bad. And he said one of the problems was trying to get into campgrounds with a vehicle that's, that's smashed up and looks bad is very hard. Okay, so yeah. They, you know, campgrounds don't want you. <laughs> they don't want you coming in in a junker. So then he got the rental car. He's been doing, he drove out the, the West Coast, up there north, the Pacific Northwest, be with some family and friends, been doing some DoorDash. Uh, now he's back. I, I don't know where he was in between there, but he said he's returned to Washington State and now is hanging out with a friend who's helping him finance a new, to him, used RV. So, Wonderless the State is uh, finally getting things, getting his S together in 2021. It hadn't been an easy couple of months for him. So, good luck to James. We got Rosie here, Rosie O'Kelly there in beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay, so what happened with her? Uh, you know, she likes to go to Vegas. I mean, she used to travel a lot around the country. She's got a nice van that she does that in. And, you know, she's in, she has a lot of nomads come by her place there in Santa Rosa, you know, which who we shall not mention at the moment. But, you know, some of them she still likes, some of them she doesn't. Anyway, Anyway, uh, anyway, so uh, so she's in Vegas. She she plays uh, the fifty cent slot machine. She wins a whole bunch of money, a lot of cash. She doesn't want to carry that big wad of cash around, so she finds what is it, a Bank of America? I guess that's where she does her business, and uh, she goes to the ATM. I guess because she couldn't walk in, right? Because it's probably either closed or not open. I don't know. She goes to the ATM, deposits the money, and then the machine just turns off. It doesn't, it doesn't give her a confirmation or anything. It just, have you ever done that? I've done that a couple times where it just, it'll, the machine is, the, you, you do a transaction and then the machine will just literally say, this machine is turning off, spits out your money. It, it, it doesn't even spit you out a receipt. It spits your card back out. And then this thing comes down and goes up. Ah. And then you're like, well, what just happened there? Well, it was a little freaky for her because she just loaded it with some cash. I don't know. I'd always feel wary about putting cash into an ATM. You know, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I, I, that's, you know, yeah. You know, cash, it's a, it's a check. It's some, some paper thing that you can prove or a paper trail. I don't know. Anyway, so she said there's a whole line behind her of people trying to get some cash out because they want to go gambling and they can't now because she broke the machine. Well, she didn't really break it, but she said people were mad at her. And uh, so anyway, she called the bank, number of calls, and finally figured out, they, they got it figured out, so they gave her credit in her account for the uh, deposit, but uh, fun stuff for Rosie. Was watching uh, Dave 2D did a live stream last night. I don't think it's still up. I don't see it around here. He takes his live streams down, but Dave in the past, Dave last night has the details on that. So Dave, Dave, Dave 12 hours ago or 10 hours ago, some, uh, take it away. Tell us what happened, Dave. A new Dave 2D uh, live stream last night. And look, <laughs> look who threw him $400. Well, she just uh, went through $100,000. You know, 
from her video there of the, the I guess the shower video. And now <laughs> she's and she's not broke. She's got four hundred dollars to throw to Dave. Wow, man. <laughs> oh wow. Hey, go ahead and watch this one. You will get a lot of political stuff in it. Dave has gone heavy duty into the politics, which we don't do here. We don't do here, so we will not get there. But but look at this. Zoe, I got Zoe, right? Zoe's just bored by it all and has fallen asleep. Smart dog. All right, all right. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Uh, Blue Van Dan's got a got his cooker back. His cooker imploded, and he I don't know. He got parts or whatever, and he got it repaired or whatever, and now his cooker's back and. He, he used some uh, gunk on it to fix it up, and it, it, it was Solar Cooker. That is part, that is a main character in his channel. You know, a lot of nomads have um, uh, dogs, cats, and other things, you know, to, to make a big deal with. Dan, his big uh, character on his channel is his Solar Cooker, and it imploded the other day. They just get old and implode, but now it's back in working condition. Uh, the placement parts, and he's fixed some stuff up, and he's cleaned it. Apparently, it had uh, glass shards all through it, so uh, that's not a good thing. There it is. There it is in full majestic solar, like a big solar butterfly. Anyway, so you know, I don't know. A lot of glass shards there, so I'd be a little careful when you're eating those honey buns, Dan. You know, you don't want to get some glass shards up there in your teeth. But anyway, his solar cooker is back, and now he's hoping it will last many, many, many more years. Blue Van Dan. We got a uh, new one from Bama Mike. Haven't covered him a lot lately. He is a guy down in Alabama who um, who uh, does a lot of exploration -y stuff. He also does some true crime stuff, uh, and he's grown his channel very well. With you know, I, I've kind of helped him out a little bit. I, I, you know, it was my. I think it was my doxinator that actually, or me maybe. I forget. Came up with the name Bama Mike. We were thinking, you know, back in his early days, you know, he had a more cryptic name for his channel with a lot of numbers in it. And we thought, you know, you need something that's catchy. So, me, me and my docs in here, I forget. He'll claim credit, I'll claim credit. But anyway, uh, Bama Mike uh, hasn't been feeling well lately. He, uh, you know, I don't know. He, he's, you know, he, he has potentially symptoms of the V, but uh, he just said he hasn't been feeling well lately, and that's that. So it's been raining a lot in Alabama, and he's kind of bummed, and uh, just talking about how, you know, you, he knows you want his videos, and uh, he's busy, getting busy, and even though he's not feeling well, putting them out continually. So he had a bad spider bite last summer. He got a really nasty recluse something or other spider that bit his leg, uh, or, you know, and he really had to go to the doctors and have surgery and hospitalizations and stuff like that. So he's been through a lot in the last year or so, uh, stuff like that. But uh, he's a hardworking guy. His wife, uh, I think his wife's a, tra a nurse or something like that. And he travels. I don't think she's still traveling, though. I think she's just a nurse nurse. But, I, you know, I, I, he might need to get the, the, the test for the V. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. But anyway, I think he's, uh, he said he's feeling better. So that's good news. So, but the Bama Mike, been sick. And he does this thing where he's thanking his subscribers for understanding the fact that he hasn't been feeling well and hasn't been putting out videos on a regular basis, at least, you know, but the, to what he thinks is a regular basis. And it's like, why do you got to apologize? <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry, folks. And we see these nomads. We saw Adventure Van Man Brian apologizing the other day for not putting out videos on a regular basis because he's just busy with life and camping and his girlfriend and everything else. He's getting a new vehicle, too. He said he wants to buy a box van or a box truck. So n nothing new on that one, but we'll let you know. We'll break into your programming right away the late, when we have some late information on that. But anyway, it's funny how these nomads... I, you know, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't give you a video yesterday or two days ago, and I know you miss me. And yeah, well, you know, Dave's here. Don't worry. Look at this one. Steve Wallace, always a Canadian guy. Steve he is always a Canadian guy. Steve Wallace uh, likes to camp in weird places, and he's got a treehouse here. Treehouse camping in kind of a the snowy Canadian wilderness. So, uh, wow. Nothing beats a little brewski before you... Uh, bed down for the night in his, what did he call it? A two-story ramshackled treehouse. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. You know, he's camped out in some crazy places, and this doesn't look too bad. 
he kind of fixes it up. He's got his uh, buddy heater there, and I, I'm sure there's a jackery laying around somewhere. And, uh, and uh, you know, surviving the night, he's got some photo, and, and of course the Patreon crawl. You got to do that. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's already started. Look, he's got uh, like six more minutes of the video, and he's already doing the Patreon crawl. Oh, that's just there in the minute, there in the middle. But anyway, it's warm enough, so he did you a know, short sleeve shirt. Rocking the short sleeve shirts, even though it's snowing here today, too. You know, I don't know. Anyway, good stuff again, always, from Steve Wallace. Carolyn's RV Life said she would not be putting political content on her main channel. She has another channel called As I See It. But last night, things just, I guess, just came to a head, and she just had to get it out. So, the, the, you know, the, uh, let, what, what happened two days ago? This is the 8th of January, 2021. Two days ago, you know, the... They had a, you know, a breach, a breach in the uh, Capitol building and all hell broke loose. And uh, she had to talk about that. So she does bring up politics in her video uh, on her regular, on her main channel. So uh, just a warning uh, if you want to catch that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know who that we don't talk about. The guy with the uh, house there in one of those I states, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana. I forget. He is now down in uh, Alabama. Uh, and, I, you know, I, I guess he's on his way to you know where. The world's happiest place, huh? I don't know, man. You could spend the day with Minnie Van Lee. She goes shopping and cooking. Uh, she has lunch, and she goes to Walmart. Woohoo! <laughs> hey, I don't live in a center. Oh. <laughs> Holly jeepers. Somebody said that I live in a center. They said I, 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 I don't live in, I don't, I, I, I live in a beautiful, a beautiful Hunter's Well. Look, look at my Hunter's Well. Look at this carpeting down there. That's a, it's got all the, the amenities. Nobody's ever pooped in this bucket and nobody ever, well, then in my home and I love it. It's my privacy and I've got my friends in there. They hang out with me in my light bulb and my other light over there. And, and, and I got my, my uh, power station right there. So yeah, it's wonderful. Yes, it, no, but it's a beautiful home for a puppet. How many puppets have a home, huh? I got my own home, so there, it's not a center. There, I got under.